In my last video I showed you a fully mechanical camera slider with uh, this thing together with uh, this microphone stand but what if you want to make a time lapse? Hi, I'm John from Proper Printing and this video is about camera sliding again, but this time electronically. In my last video it was uh, fully mechanical. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, um, I definitely recommend watching that. So I place a link uh, here. Yeah, so this time I'm going to do it electronically because, uh, well this works, but it goes a bit too fast for uh, for a time lapse within a, a, a distance of uh, around 80 centimeters. It uh, takes a couple of seconds, and that's a, a bit too short if you want to make a time lapse uh, for of uh, a couple of hours. And that's what I want to do often with uh, with 3D printing. So I have a stepper motor with well the same pulley as uh, as here and this stepper motor can be controlled with an arduino a stepper motor driver and a power supply 24 volts 3 amps oh. whoa sorry 24 volts, six and a half amps. So, well, that should do. Yeah, I have uh, created a sort of base uh, on which the um, Arduino can be can be placed. Can be placed on the bottom. On top there is, uh, yeah, of course, the stepper motor and some place for the um, the stepper motor driver. Uh, I have already seen that the, the stepper motor driver can be placed there, it's yeah, a bit tight. So I will redesign this. I will first mount everything on this and write some software to make sure that everything works. And if it works then I will update this to a final version uh, which you can download and use yourself. Well, one thing. Because it's uh, based on the original camera slider, I will uh, again use the uh, the microphone stand. The diameter of this um, microphone stand is uh, 14 millimeters. Uh, I think I will uh, make a couple of designs for different diameters, because if you are using uh, the, st the stepper motor, yeah, this can rotate for how long as you like. You can use uh, a, like a long tube and make a, a very cool time lapse over like two or three meters. Uh, I have one lying around so maybe later on in this video I will make a time lapse over well, maybe through this whole room. I think that would be great. I think I have to get uh, my solder bolt and um, start uh, soldering everything together. If I look at the uh, the motor driver, that is a DRV8825. Uh, yeah, you can see the uh, the example circuit over here. So we have a microcontroller, power supply, 24 volt power supply, and uh, the motor. This is just for uh, for logic. So I will use the 5 volt output of the. Uh, the Arduino. I'm first going to mount everything to this base so it's easier to connect everything. Okay, let's go to uh, the local shop and uh, 
and buy some screws. the assembly with the Arduino board and the stepper motor uh, yeah I think I will use the same colors as uh, in this schematics I can just connect this to it this connector like so the schematics show that uh, M01 and 2 reset and sleep are connected together uh, I just soldered everything together here and um, yeah, I can just uh, place one, uh, yeah, one wire from here to the Arduino. This should be it. Cables are uh, a bit long. I can do some test runs. I'm going to uh, place this on the microphone stand and modify the Arduino code, program it and uh, see if I can uh, get this to run. Minus one hundred <laughs> minus three at five hundred RPM. Ooh, damn. <laughs> and now do it really slow. And now one uh, one RPM. So five at one. That's definitely slow. So it's one revolution per minute so it will take five minutes to go from here to there and another problem is that uh, the stepper driver is getting very hot and I can show that on the thermal imaging camera so you can see here it's uh, above 120 degrees so it will uh, it, it shuts off automatically so I have to put some heatsink uh, I have to put a heatsink on it to prevent it from uh, overheating uh, when I uh, run at this uh, slow paces um, another thing that I probably can do is uh, just go one step with a delay that's uh, uh, with the delay that you can set so you can go slower slower than this way slower <laughs> right how fast will it go um, okay first 
two rotations at 100 rpm. And it's already at the end. Yeah, let's see what happens if I do the same thing at the 1000 rpm. It's a bit tricky because my uh, my laptop is standing right here. But yeah, two rotations at 1000 rpm. Here we go. <laughs> yes. Like I promised, I uh, I'm going to make a time lapse with this uh, oh, very long uh, or very long with this somewhat longer tube. Yes. Um, at this moment, my printer is uh, busy with. Uh, with uh, printing one for this tube because the diameter is uh, 10 millimeters instead of 14 so it's a bit smaller uh, once that's done then um, yeah I will make this time lapse so I will end the video with that time lapse so if you want to see the result uh, keep watching if you have enjoyed watching then uh, please hit that uh, like button and subscribe because I'm doing this for uh, for my coming videos so it will be uh, I can't wait for uh, making them. Enjoy the incredible time lapse. I have made a yeah. It's 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 becoming a mess around here, so I have to clean it up. And yeah, I will make a time lapse of me cleaning this up. So it's uh, a boring subject, but it will be amazing footage. I hope. I've never done it. So uh, yeah, who knows. <laughs>